Hi, I'm Katie Zeskind. I own Wisdom Within Counseling and Coaching in Niantic, Connecticut. We offer in-person and video therapy sessions. For families who are looking to restore and rekindle after a family estrangement or a cutoff, Family estrangements can be super painful, and that is one of our specialties at Wisdom Within Counseling. You can learn more and book your free phone consultation at wisdomwithinct.com. That's wisdomwithinct.com. Now, when it comes to a sibling estrangement, it can be super painful. You and your sibling may have grown up together and have had amazing memories. You've been there for each other on the first day of kindergarten, you might even remember your, if you're the older sibling, you may even remember your sibling, you know, coming home from the hospital, you know, you were there helping bathe them or change their diapers. Um, and if you were a younger sibling, you might have really looked up to your older sibling and saw them as a role model. And you guys have shared so many incredible memories together in your childhood. And then now in adult years, your sibling has cut you off. Your sibling has said, I don't need you in my life. Your sibling has said, you know, I'm not gonna respond to phone calls. I'm not gonna respond to your text messages or emails. And your sibling may have even sent hateful emails to you, hurtful emails, telling you that you're to blame for all of their problems and, and painful emotions. A sibling cutoff can be very challenging because you have thought since you were a young child that you would get to grow old with this person and have memories of your parents and caregivers together and laugh about your childhood together, you know, into your adult years. And as a result of estrangement, you might not even be able to be allowed to have a relationship with your siblings' children, so your nieces and your nephews. Um, and so there can be a ripple effect of sadness and grief when it comes to sibling estrangements. So not only are you cut out from your sibling, but you're cut out from their children. And that can be super painful when you were excited about being an aunt or an uncle. So sibling estrangements are a, a time of mourning, a time of grief, um, and oftentimes um, we're constantly confused as to why this person that you guys, you know, you two shared such a deep loving bond, you know, why did they decide all of a sudden that you were unnecessary? And why did they decide that they just wanted to discard you? And now you're feeling unwanted, you're feeling unimportant, you're wondering if they even still have the memories of all the good times together, you know, and you might even be questioning, like, were those good times significant? Like, did I put in so much effort to be a good sibling and now they want to throw all of that away in the trash, you know, and so that can be super, super painful. And a sibling estrangement can be like a death. You know, it's very hard because it's like a silent death. You alone, you know, may be dealing with this and other family members, cousins, aunts and uncles, grandparents, you know, even your own parents or caregivers may still get to have a relationship with your sibling who doesn't want a relationship with you, making it even more painful and intense. So when you uh, see other family members getting to bond or hang out or spend time and be lovingly invited into your sibling's life, when you are not allowed in your sibling's life, um, it can be super painful and it can feel like a death. Um, and so it can be super, super helpful to go to therapy and talk about how you've been affected by your sibling's behaviors um, and talk about rekindling the estrangement that's occurred. Um, one thing that you can do to start, start kind of looking at the estrangement is write down all of the good times you've had together. So write down, you know, what it was like when you were children, being five years old together. You know, where you were living when you were seven years old. You know, what it was like, you know, when you were in fifth grade or sixth grade and the memories that you had with your sibling and write them down, you know, fill up a lot of pages in your journal. You know, and these can be really helpful one day when it does come to rekindling a connection with your sibling. You know, you can write down moments where you remember them laughing or remember like, you know, just being very silly with them. And those good memories can actually be very positive um, for reconnecting. But right now, just write them down because you want to be able to remember the relationship you did have. You know, relationships are very complex. And so you've almost had a breakup, so to speak, with your sibling when it comes to an estrangement. And so we want to really honor the good times you have had in your life together because those are valid. Um, and so that can be a really great exercise for you. Um, when it comes to steps to heal, 
from a sibling estrangement, you know, it's really important to mourn. So take the time to cry, you know, think about, you know, what it was like to be cut off from them, you know, and just really grieve and really mourn, you know, do not turn to drugs and alcohol during this time to numb out your feelings. It might be super easy to try to, you know, drink away your emotions, but it can be much more, um, healthy, you know, to just feel what you're feeling, to understand that this person was significant to you and it's okay to miss them and it's okay to be sad and it's okay to have all the feelings you have from jealousy, you know, that other people still get a relationship with them, to anger, you know, confusion, sadness, grief, you know, uncomfortability, like it can be super, you know, shameful. You may even feel guilty. Like there's so many emotions that you can process with your therapist. Um, so really mourn and, and allow yourself to mourn. Um, because a lot of times we expect, you know, just from our societal norms to have a relationship with siblings for our entire lives. And um, when you don't get that anymore and that feels taken away from you, um, you know, it's really important to allow yourself time to mourn you know, find hobbies that you enjoy, pick up knitting or art or cook a new recipe, join a run club or a yoga class, you know, make sure to take good care of yourself mentally, even though you might be suffering from a very high level of sadness and depression as a result of this family estrangement. Um, as well, it can be really helpful to write down a timeline of trauma when it comes to sibling estrangement. So, when we look at estrangements, usually there has been a complex trauma experience that has caused your loved one, your sibling to no longer want a relationship with you. Um, and typically these are, you know, experiences of sexual abuse, emotional abuse, um, emotional neglect, um, physical abuse, um, times of high emotion. You know, your sibling might even be calling you a narcissist um, and feeling like, you know, you are the, the, the most unhealthy person for them in their life. So like understand, you know, maybe that there was a traumatic experience that caused them to feel like a cutoff was their only option, you know? And when we go through trauma, we're not thinking straight. We're in survival mode. So part of counseling and coaching for family estrangements is getting both of you into a more playful, positive, curious, and, you know, relational energetic space rather than living in fear and anxiety and feeling like a cutoff is the only option. Um, and, when we look at trauma, we're looking at um, all different trauma experiences that maybe, you know, you don't even know your sibling went through and they might even be blaming you for. So being able to talk about those things with the presence of a therapist, you know, a confidential party, you know, a, a mediator, you know, uh, someone that's not involved in your family directly can really help you and your sibling finally have conversations about trauma that you may have never had before. So you can finally start to resolve trauma and the emotions of anger, or loss, grief, you know, hurt that go along with trauma that your sibling may have internalized um, and you may not even know about. Um, and there may also be pretty um, obvious forms of trauma. So maybe you've, you know, yelled or called names or kind of made a mistake and you really do want to apologize and take ownership. And so counseling for family estrangement can also be a safe place to take ownership and, you know, speak about, you know, ways where you may really want to say sorry and be like, hey, like that wasn't my best self. And can you forgive me? And, you know, these are some steps I'm taking to make sure it doesn't happen again. And that can be a really huge benefit of counseling because a lot of times we are not taught how to have healthy communication. And if we grow up in homes where there are high conflict fights or you saw dishes thrown or doors slammed or property broken, like you didn't learn how to have a healthy communication, you know, skill set growing up. And so family estrangement counseling can be the first time that you get to work with a therapist to truly learn how to apologize, speak respectfully, speak lovingly and actually build an even better, more healing relationship than you've ever had before with your sibling. Um, and you can do so with the help of someone outside your family and with a professional who truly understands family estrangement, the emotions around them, and the complex trauma that can sometimes be underneath estrangements. Um, and so uh, empathizing is going to be really helpful for you. So for both siblings and your therapist can help you guys gain emotional validation skills as well. 
Now, if you are thinking about reconnecting to your sibling, what you don't wanna do is reach out when you're feeling an intense emotion. So if you're feeling super angry, that's the time to journal. That's not the time to reach out or try to call your sibling to force them to be in a relationship with you. Um, force always meets resistance. And so when you're feeling anxiety or jealousy or furious or rage, like that is not the time to try to have a relationship with your sibling. Healthy relationships are built from a place of centeredness and groundedness. So therapy can help you, you know, find your center again. Um, but if you're noticing a really intense emotion, don't try to reach out to your sibling. Also, don't try to uh, rekindle a relationship with your sibling by luring them with money or gifts. Um, that can be uh, not the best way to build a relationship. And so if you, you know, don't try to tell your sibling, oh, I'll buy you a brand new car if you talk to me again, because when you buy them the car, they're probably going to stop talking to you after you give them that gift. Um, or I'm gonna, you know, pay for this, and then after you give them that sum of money, they're probably going to withdraw again because neither of you have the skills to have a healthy relationship together. So it's much better to work with a therapist to help you both gain healthy relationship skills rather than trying to lure your sibling back to you with money um, or a big gift. Also, a third don't is to do not reach out to your sibling trying to tell them that it is a family expectation that they um, should be in a relationship with you. So um, sometimes, um, let's say, you know, you're a sibling and your, your family member, your sibling has cut you off and you are trying to reconnect with them, do not try to tell them that they have to have a relationship with you or something bad will happen to them or, you know, your parents will stop talking to them too if they don't talk to you. Like, those power and control dynamics may seem like they make sense, but they're very unhealthy and they actually perpetuate dysfunction in families. So therapy can actually help you have a more open and authentic and genuine relationship without having to use power and control dynamics. Um, so we don't want to uh, get stuck in any of those negative uh, relationship skills. And therapy can help you kind of build a healthy relationship. Um, and know that all that the feelings you're going through are okay. So if you're feeling jealous that other family members get to have a relationship with your sibling, like just feel that. And if you're feeling angry, that's okay. And if you're feeling confused, that's okay too. You know, and you know, family estrangements can make holidays and gatherings and even weddings really challenging. So there are many benefits to working with a family estrangement counselor. You know, next time you have a family wedding, like then maybe both you and your sibling can go. Even if you're not sitting at the same table, you can at least be in the same room together um, without everyone in your family feeling tense and wondering if a fight is gonna break out, which could take away from the beauty of the wedding, you know, and take attention away from the bride and groom. Um, and counseling can help you on an individual level express your emotions, better gain mental clarity and grieve. You know, sibling estrangement can be like a death because so often, um, you know, when someone dies, we come together as a family and we go to their grave and we, you know, have a funeral. We go to a church or a place to really celebrate their life. And when you're going through a sibling estrangement, you might be the only one on the opposite side of that cutoff. So you feel alone, you feel confused, you feel unwanted you're grieving in silence. And so therapy can be that place where you can tell your story and finally feel heard and better understand how these, you know, um, dysfunctional behaviors may have occurred um, between you and your sibling and start to create an even healthier, more meaningful connection with them. So, you know, you can come to counseling by yourself and we can support you and help you feel empowered in rekindling a relationship with your sibling or you and your sibling can come to counseling together. And that can actually be super positive because you get someone outside your family to help you both navigate the emotions you're feeling, help you both stay calm, help you gain self-regulation and relaxation skills. Um, and when siblings have a space to come together, it's kind of a mental relief. Like you know that every Tuesday at five o'clock, you guys are gonna come together in a video session and can process these unresolved traumas that you've not talked about for decades. You know, there may have been traumatic experiences your sibling went through that you don't even know about, and it can be really eye-opening. And you can also have, take time to take ownership and accountability for your part in any hurt or betrayal that has been, you know, caused or that your sibling has felt. And being able to emotionally validate each other 
is a lifelong skill. So you guys can have a healthier relationship than you've ever had before from working with a therapist um, at Wisdom Within Counseling who specializes in family estrangements and complex trauma. Um, so we really try to offer family members a safe space, a calm environment to really process all those difficult, painful life moments that have created um, these, you know, your sibling to think that the only option is for them to cut you off. And you're not alone if you're going through a family estrangement and our team would love to help you. So at Wisdom Within Counseling, we can help you through not only traditional talk therapy, but also holistic creative therapy. So we offer art, yoga, painting, mindfulness meditation, mind body scans, um, music therapy, and even outdoor walk and talk therapy by the beach. Um, and we offer video sessions as well as in-person counseling in Southeastern Connecticut in the USA. So no matter where you're located or what you're going through, we can help you on a video session. And we find that these mind-body therapies actually offer creative outlets and it help people improve their communication in a language beyond words. So when talking might be frustrating or not productive, you can use a method like art therapy or painting or watercolor or even music therapy to feel a sense of connection to each other again and have a language beyond just talking. So colors and sounds can help you communicate what you're feeling to your sibling in a way that maybe words can't. Um, so you can book your free phone consultation for family estrangement counseling, specifically for a sibling estrangement at wisdomwithinct.com. That's wisdomwithinct.com. I'm Katie Ziskind, the owner of Wisdom Within Counseling and Coaching, and my team of therapists, along with myself, would love to help you rekindle a relationship with your sibling.